What's up everyone, Snooks here, and I've got a bit of a special thing for you today. I have an unboxing and a review. Uh, what am I unboxing? Well, I'm I unboxing, very much thank you to the good people over at Razer, I'm unboxing a Razer Jungle Cat. Now, as you can see, portable dual-sided gaming controller for Android. Uh, I don't know how much fun I'll be playing with it, but I'm going to try a few different things on it. But before we jump into the review side of it, I've got to get down to the box. I haven't actually had to play with it yet. So uh, let's get into that side of it, shall we? All right, so before we get into unboxing it, let's have a look at the box in itself. Now, one thing that I do love about the Razer gear is the packaging that it comes in. Plus, I'm a big fan of green, you know. So what have we got? Portable, dual-sided controller, modular screen, and the Razer Gamepad app, compatible with the Razer Phone 2. I have a Razer Phone 1, but should be right. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and Huawei P30 Pro. I'm pretty sure I've said that wrong. Anyway, let's have a look. Jungle Cats. Oh, got to admit, I do enjoy them. Bluetooth low energy for longer battery life. Low latency connection, sensitivity adjustment for greater aim. The app, phone grip cases included are the Razer, the Samsung and the P30 Pro, because I'm saying that wrong for sure. And looks like a little controller so that you can do a few other bits and pieces with it. All right, let's get this open, shall we? I have got you know, something a little bit nice. I'm a fan of this, I must admit. All right. Oh! The packaging there. And, uh, oh, that's it, really. Oh, very cool. So they're like little Joy-Cons. Very, very cool. Oh, nice button feel. Nice bit of movement. No. Let's put that down. See what else is in here. For gamers, by gamers. Yes, good old Razer stuff. I must admit, I've got a bit of a soft spot for the Razer gear. Right, so this is all the different cases. So we have P30 Pro, I'll leave that in there. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I like that phone. I might be getting that phone. And the Razer Phone 2. Now let's see, the, the, apparently the only difference between the Razer phone and the two is the, uh, the camera position. So I'll grab mine and we'll have a look, see if it fits. So just like a switch, the controllers come out. And in turn, slide into this. Look at that. Oh, now that is cool. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go and have a bit of a play with this, uh, probably for about a week, and uh, I'll come back and let you know my thoughts. All right, people. So, there it is, with the phone inside, but we'll take the phone out because it's shiny and reflecting things. So, this is it, all set up, ready to go. Phone obviously goes in the center, and we get stuck into it from there. 
So I'm going to go and have a bit of a play with this, set up with the app, all those bits and pieces, and I'll be back shortly to let you know how I, feel, how I go. Alright peeps, I thought I'd uh, finish the video off with uh, a bit of a breakdown on just what I thought about the Jungle Cat from Razer. Now, I've been playing two games predominantly, which you would have just seen some video of, the Crazy Taxi and Alien Shooter. Alien Shooter is twin stick shooter and it works as expected. It connects, it's it's brilliant. There, there's no need to use the touch screen on, on a lot of it. Crazy Taxi as well, while it is uh, kind of dumbed down from, from previous versions because obviously it's for a mobile phone, the Jungle Cat also makes it work exceptionally well. The big thing is, is that some of those big name uh, first person shooters, whether it be COD Mobile or PUBG, I haven't been able to get it to work with. Now, that could very well be me but it just I haven't been able to work it out as yet unfortunately because my uh, Gen 1 Razer phone actually runs an older version of Android I've sort of balked uh, at getting Fortnite on it again because you've got to download a third party downloader and you know that's kind of a bit touchy with uh, some outdated security software that's on there so other than that though the games that are available which are already there to to use and are confirmed to be compatible is brilliant you've got some of the telltale batman games you've got lego games you've got gta all of these sorts of things and really what more could you ask for there, there's such a variance of it that even as my kids say the crazy goat game is on there so make sure you have a look at that the jungle cat in itself is a great bit of tech it's tech unfortunately that just it's not for me. I don't, I don't play enough of uh, enough gaming on my mobile, so to speak, to actually use it for its full potential. It's only really scratching the surface of what I do with it. If you're someone that does play a lot of games on your mobile, if uh, you're someone that's very excited for Project X Cloud, I have seen that it does work with that. Uh, obviously, in other parts of the world, because we're not seeing it yet, it doesn't work with the PlayStation Remote Play but uh, that's pretty much because it's not a PlayStation controller. One of the questions I always get asked when we when we do a review where we, where we have a look at some new tech is people ask, who can I recommend it to? Quite simply, this is something for those people that play the majority of their gaming on a mobile phone. It is very much made for that. It will not steer you wrong and from what I understand it's a good value. One thing to note with regards to anything to do with your mobile is battery life. Now I've charged this once 
and I've used it quite a bit and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. I think I'm down to around 40% battery at the moment and it's it's just been brilliant. It's given me hours upon hours. So that's something that always works well. It doesn't seem to be too much of a drain on my battery on my actual phone either. And that's even getting long in the tooth and it's still not causing too much of an issue there. It really, it really is something that's, that's a good bit of kit. So make sure you have a look for it. Tell us what you think in the comments below. It's available now. Uh, I know you can get it directly from Razer and I think some of the major retailers like JB Hi-Fi or those sorts of guys. And um, yeah, above all else, tell us what you think. I'd, I'd like to know some other people who have seen it and, or, or are using it. Tell us, tell us your thoughts on it. I have been Snoops. I will see you all very much next time.